hello, this is 2COD Beasts, and today I will be giving you the overview of the Cybrid JT paintball gun. Just first off to talk about it, it's a cheaper kind of gun, you know, you can buy it at Walmart and Target for about, let's see here, 60 to 80 dollars. The thing about this gun, it's a good starter gun. It can be used easily for woods ball and speedball. And that's its main places to play. Now to start it off, I'll just go ahead and show you how to take apart and things that you can replace at your uh, nearest paintball supply store. First off, the things you'll want to replace. You'll probably want to replace the hopper. You'll also want to replace the barrel. And inside you want to replace the plastic bolt. Take it apart, take off your hopper, and then take off your CO2 tank. And then just unscrew your barrel. And that's what you do there. Now take the firing pin and bolt out. Take out the firing pin, use it to slide the bolt outward. Like so. Grip your bolt and just do that. Now, to get out the volumizing, and all you need to do, just take out this pin. See? And all pops right out. Here's your volumizer. Your uh, spring uh, nut and your spring with its bumper. To get out the hammer, what you'll do, pull down your trigger, tap the receiver until your hammer comes out. And then your hammer will come out like so. Now you'll be able to see right through the gun, and I'll go up to the camera and show you so. If you're able to, you'll be able to see right through the gun. And these accessories that come with the gun is a paintball hopper, a paintball mask, a squeegee to uh, clean out your gun, and a replacement O-ring, O-ring lubricant, and also, of course, the cheapy hopper. Now, to put it back together, what you'll need to do Take the hammer you just took it out. The flat side goes in and the hole goes up. This hole should be sticking out and the hole on, on top of the cylinder should be sticking upward. I just put that inside your gun. What you'll do is pull down the trigger and take your bolt. Put this on top of your hammer and squeeze the trigger like so. Take that out. Take your spring with bumper and make sure you get it in the hole of the hammer. Take the pin. Put that inside the spring. Take your volumizer. And there's a slit on the volumizer. If you can see at the top here. This makes sure it, the pin can go in and hold everything in. And the spring and everything will fly out. I'll just put that in. Make sure you push that down all the way. Take your pin, put it in this hole like so. It might take a few tries because this is one of the parts where you might need a tad bit of muscle. And that goes in like so. Then to replace the bolt and firing pin. As you'll notice on the bolt, there's one hole that you can see all the way through and one hole that's only on one side. Make sure the hole that only has one side goes inside the gun and is facing downward. Put it in your gun. And make sure the hole that you can see through is pointing up. Take your firing pin, put it inside the hole, and the hammer and everything will all align in caulking position. How to make sure everything works. Fire the gun a few times. And 
after you know it works, make sure it is not caught. Now what you'll do, take your barrel, put this back on the side right, lefty or to your righty tight. and put back on your hopper, put it, the opening facing the barrel, and turn it counterclockwise towards you, pushing down. And then, take your CO2 tank, screw that in the bottom. This is an empty CO2 tank, this is not a full one. If you're going to put this in, take more care whenever you have a full one. And there you go. That is the overview of the Cybrid paintball gun. If you would like to know where I get my paintball supplies, my paintball supply store is Condor's Paintball in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. This is two CODBs.